In this video, we're going to look at the reactions of the alkanes with the halogens. Now, remember that the halogens are the elements in group seven. So fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. We're going to look at how they react with the halogens in the dark or artificial light, so a light bulb inside, and how the alkanes react with the halogens in the presence of ultraviolet light or bright sunlight. So the alkanes and the halogens in the dark artificial light will not react. So I'll show you that here with methane as an example. So methane is CH4, and if I add that to bromine, is Br2, nothing happens. So in this reaction, I would get exactly the same. So the products would be exactly the same as the reactants here. So there's absolutely no reaction taking place. Here at all. Okay, so this is very useful because we can then use this to distinguish between an alkane and an alkene or a saturated and unsaturated molecule because the alkene will react with bromine water and turn from orange to colourless, whereas the alkane won't. Okay, so it helps us to tell the difference. It's a very good test. Now, the alkanes and halogens in ultraviolet light or bright sunlight, a reaction will happen. And the reaction that will happen here will make another product called a haloalkane or sometimes called a halogenoalkane. So I'm going to show you this with methane as the example again. And if we do the same and we add that to bromine, now you'll see here that something different happens. Now one of the hydrogens will be replaced with a bromine. That then means that a hydrogen is then released and joins to the bromine. Okay. Now because what we've got happening is that one of this hydrogen here and one of these bromines of switching places, if you like, what's happening is a hydrogen is being substituted for a bromine. And that hydrogen that's substituted joins to the other bromine to make hydrogen bromide. So if I write, or continue writing the symbol equation at the bottom here, I've got CH4, which is methane, plus Br2, which then gives me CH3, Three Br because one of those hydrogens has been has been substituted for a bromine plus H Br and in terms of the word equation for this this would be methane plus bromine reacts to give a new product called bromo methane plus hydrogen bromide. Now this is really important because the name now changes with the bromo in front, bromo methane, indicating that one bromine is substituted to the methane. If this was reacting with chlorine, it'd be chloromethane or iodomethane, things like that. And again, if it was ethane reacting with bromine, it would then become bromoethane, etc., etc. So, just to summarize then, the alkanes will not react with the halogens in dark or artificial light. This allows us to test for the presence of a double bond or a single bond, so an alkane or an alkene or a saturated or an unsaturated molecule. The alkanes will react with halogens in the presence of bright sunlight or ultraviolet light by substitution reactions. And substitution, remember, means that one of the hydrogens, so here, substitution means a hydrogen 
is substituted for a halogen atom. Okay, and in the example that we looked at, it was bromine, so that became bromomethane. If it was chlorine, it would be chloromethane. Okay, well, I hope that helps.